Hello everyone, it's Buddy Sven here once again coming at you with another Warframe video, and I royally screwed up on the last Excalibur video. I put the wrong defensive mod in there for this one. Um, I should have had Vitality in there rather than Redirection. Uh, that is on me, that's my bad. It was brought to my attention, I deleted the first one just because I, I didn't want to have a wrong build on my channel. So I want to thank you guys to those who brought me brought that to my attention. Thank you very much. So without further ado, we're actually going to go ahead and get into the correct build here. We still have Steel Charge here, just because the extra melee damage. This is meant to be a melee tank Excalibur style build. So, well, Excalibur style build, it is a build for Excalibur, obviously. But we do have the Steel Charge because the extra melee damage and the 18 extra polar or extra um, capacity. There we go. I'm, I'm blanking on these terms here. Uh, Forma the V here for Blind Rage, because the 99% power strength is too good to not really have, and we'll make up for the efficiency loss later. We also form a line here for Prime Flow, 275% power max, really, really strong. Uh, steel Fiber, this is by default a D, so we have the Steel Fiber here for the 110% armor. That's going to give you some extra beefiness. Transient Fortitude down here, 55% extra power strength for the lack of duration. In this build, duration isn't going to mean a whole lot because you're just going to pump out damage and you're going to be harder to kill. Now we have Vitality, which is the correct one, finally. 440% health, that's kind of obvious. If we're going for a tank, you want one of those defensive mods at least. And with Steel Fiber, you're going to want to incorporate that Vitality. Now we have Fleeting Expertise as well to make up for the Blind Rage loss of efficiency while we lose more duration. That is unfortunate, but we can deal with that. Streamline for extra efficiency, the extra 30%, and intensify for the extra power strength. And then we have power drift over there, just a rank 1 power drift. Other than that, everything is maxed. I only have the spots to actually just put one <laughs> rank on power drift, but it beats using another format. I feel like 3 is already pretty beefy for Excalibur, so... And that's not a knock against Excalibur, I just think that 3 form is kind of ideal for him. Now let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty. 740 health rather than the 740 shield I had in the previous, so 300 shield on this one, 740 health, 425 power, 30 shield regen a second, 472.5 armor, 1 sprint speed, 189% bonus power strength, 35% extra efficiency, 60% extra melee damage. We lose out on 87.5% of our duration, but if this, since this is kind of a tanky, exalted blade style build, I'm not too worried about the duration. The blind will still be enough for you to get a finisher off, and just trust me, I this is the build that I like to use, and it is just extremely effective. You also have a 10% chance to resist knockdowns, which is always fun. Um, slash dash, 16.25%, uh, not percent, but 16.25 uh, cost. I'm just tripping over my words here. You know, slow down a little bit. It's fine. Uh, 722 and a half slash damage and a 12 meter power range. Uh, we don't actually impact our range here, so that's just standard. Radio blind, 32 and a half power cost, 25 radius. It lasts for two seconds, but the stagger is for five. That's the important part. The stagger being five seconds is really good. Radial Javelin, 48.75 on the cost, 963.3 of the damage types, 25 meter radius, and 12 javelins. And then Exalted Blade, this is the big one. 16.25 to activate, 13 per second, but 240.8 on the three damage types. And this will also get a lot better as you have a better melee weapon. So if you're bringing something like the Galatine or the War, you're going to do a lot of damage. I recommend Berserker builds on your melee weapons because berserker can actually work on your exalted blade i've done that from personal experience so unless they've changed that for some reason you can use berserker to start swinging your exalted blade faster this thing has a lot of damage and you're relatively hard to kill so there you go there's my three forma tank excalibur build that also deals a crap ton of damage so please leave a comment below if there's something else i missed i really hope i didn't miss anything else this time around we have Vitality in instead of Redirection, and I'm sorry for screwing that up in the beginning, but thank you guys for bringing that to my attention. If you like what you saw in the video, please leave a like down below. It helps out so very much. And if you want to see my Warframe videos every Monday through Thursday, hit the big red button down below. Subscribe to my channel. We're only six away from the thousand, everyone. Thank you so much. That is such a huge milestone. I can't believe we're there within a year. That's really exciting, but anywho, enough gushing about that. This has been Sven. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.